Robert Van Royen last updated 1611, August 18, 2017 Crusaders wing Digby Ion in action against his former team, the Queensland Reds, in Brisbane earlier this year. Former Wallabies wing Digby Ion will return to the champion Crusaders for a second season next year. The 32-year-old was limited to just three appearances the past Super Rugby season, but recently told Fox Sports he had fallen back in love with rugby at the Christchurch-based franchise. Crusaders chief executive Hamish Riach confirmed Ion would return in 2018, something he always hoped when they signed the former Red Star last year. Crusaders wing Digby Ion at the team's street parade in Christchurch last week. It was a slightly complicated structure to the deal, Riek said. It wasn't a normal contract, in that we did two one-year deals, for a whole lot of reasons. Read more easy decision for Sanders Genial signs with Rebels Force granted injunction finances behind forces axing while we always expected it was the equivalent of a two-year deal, there was that possibility that Dickby might have decided to potentially make other choices for that second year. Crusaders Chief Executive Officer Hamish Rieck believes the team is in great shape heading into next season. Ion, who is in Japan for a six-week stint with the Robbie Deans coach Panasonic Wild Knights, joins fellow outside backs Israel Dag, David Haverly, George Bridge, Sita Tamanavalu and Joan Masalai on the books, while the hand injury played a big role in limiting Ion's game time this year. Tamanavalu's successful transition from the midfield to the wing, and the rise of rookie Bridge also cost him. Havilah's outstanding form at fullback also pushed Dag to the wing, meaning Iwain's most recent run for the Crusaders was a warm-up match against the Highlanders in Timaru during the June-July international window. Crusaders wing Digby Ion doesn't want to play for the Wallabies again. However, the lack of opportunities obviously didnt put Ion off returning to the Garden City after previously not enjoying stints in Paris and Japan. Everything was just day in, day out, it wasn't exciting for me, I own told Fox Sports. You love your job when you wake up in the morning and you're going to work and you're excited to see the boys and be there. That's the kind of feeling I had when I was at the Reds and I found that when I went to Christchurch, finding out why New Zealand teams are so good was behind Iwain's decision to sign with the Crusaders. While he also admitted he doesn't have the desire to play for the Wallabies again, the energetic wing said Australian rugby was in a big hole. In contrast to New Zealand being in their own league, we've loved having him, HES been a really popular member of the group. It's been a win-win, Riek said, we always had the strong assumption that Digby was coming for those two years, so the fact he has confirmed that is great and it's exactly what we hope to hear him say. We're delighted and looking forward to him doing year two with us. With the majority of the franchise's roster locked in well in advance of the October 31st deadline, the Crusaders are sitting pretty on the back of winning their eighth Super Rugby crown. One of the really nice things about a successful campaign and one the boys enjoyed, you can get to positive contract negotiations a little bit earlier. We're in great shape. Signed up Crusaders Cody Taylor until 2021, Sam Whitelock, Ollie Yeager, Mitchell Drummond 2020 Kieran Reid, Owen Franks, Israel Dagg, Joe Moody, Ben Funnell, Tim Perry, Mitchell Hunt, George Bridge, Jack Goodhue, David Haverly, Richie Munga, Tom Sanders 2019 Matt Todd, Ryan Crotty, Sita Tamanavalu, Wyatt. Crockett, Jordan Tafoot, Scott Barrett, Luke Romano, Mike Alaratoa, Joan Masalai, Leon Foucault Fuca, Pete Samu, Digby Ion 2018. Stuff.